Hello everyone. I hope you all are living a healthy life. Today I am back by using the platform of Sayed Academy of Learning with one of the most important lecture in the field of criminology and that is about the different shades of colored crime. So in this lecture I will tell you about the white collar crime, blue collar crime, red collar, pink, plaid, green collar crime and last but not the least black collar crime so to know about these important facts and terms about crime be with me till the end of this video lecture and if you people didn't subscribe my channel yet so do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon as well in order to get notification for the upcoming lectures so be with me till the end of this video so let's start what is white collar crime in the late 1930s, the distinguished Edwin Sutherland first used the phrase white collar crime to describe the criminal activities of rich and powerful people. He defined white collar crime as crime committed by a person of respectability and high social status in the course of his occupation. So such crime would be considered as white collar crime white collar crime includes embezzlement bribery fraud forgery counterfeiting etc a part of these there are some more types of white collar crime are existed so from this list let's know about what is embezzlement embezzlement is taking and keeping the property of others such as clients or employer with which one has been entrusted it is also called financial fraud. Bribery When an employee takes money to do the service of a customer illegally, for which the customer is not entitled. Fraud Misrepresentation of facts in a way that causes a victim willingly give away his or her property to the wrongdoer, who then keeps it with himself illegally. Forgery. It is the process of making, drawing, or altering a document with intent to defraud. Counterfeiting. It is done with the intent of fraudulently passing off the counterfeiting product or false product as genuine. It is generally made with the intent to take the advantage of the established value of the genuine product. Now, let's know about the blue collar crime. Blue collar crime means those crimes which are committed by illiterate people of lower class of a society, involving arm to the victim and sometimes violence. Generally, deprived class of people commits blue collar crime. The person committing blue collar crime are usually a workman, mechanic, labor, worker, poor class person, etc. Blue collar criminals usually commit crimes which include, but not limited to, burglary, drug crimes, assault, sexual assault, theft crimes, etc. And now let's know about red collar crime. Frank Perry coined the term red collar crime in 2015. Red collar crime is committed by a small subgroup of white collar criminals that use violence to avoid fraud detection. So in a simple way, it means that white collar criminal turns into red collar criminal. So let's know about this phenomena. White collar crimes turns into red collar crimes. The term red collared crime has been used to describe white collar crimes that turn horribly violent. After their white collar crimes have been discovered, red collar criminals use murder, assault, kidnapping, etc. as a method of concealment or hiding the facts of a case to avoid their conviction, thus changing the white collar crime to a red collar crime, which is the violent one. In short, I can say that when white collar criminal turns violent to avoid detection, he or she becomes red collar criminal. 
Now let's know what is pink collar crime. The term pink collar crime was coined by Kathleen Daly during the 1980s to describe embezzlement types of crime that were committed by females. It is related with the low and middle level of female workers like bookkeepers, office managers, clerks who steal from their employers. Not. According to different perception, these crimes are not just female oriented. It may relate with the types of crime, but these types of crimes are usually committed by females. Now to know about another interesting type of crime, which is plate color crime. Plate color crimes are those crimes which involve the theft or related criminal offense that directly affects farm workers, such as theft of crops, farm stock, farmers' equipments, or any other thing which directly or indirectly related to the farmer work. These crimes are committed against the farmers. And now let's know about the green collar crime, which is also a massive problem nowadays in our society. Green collar crime. There is no single vision to define the concept of green collar crime. Two major independent views exist, which is legalistic and biocentric approach. According to legalistic perspective, environmental crimes are violations of existing criminal laws designed to protect people, the environment, or both. This definition would include crimes against workers such as occupational health and safety crimes, as well as laws designed to protect nature and the environment. And according to biocentric approach, environmental harm is viewed as any human activity that disrupts a biosystem or destroying plant and animal's life. Some important forms of green collar crimes are illegal logging, illegal wildlife exports, illegal fishing, illegal dumping, illegal polluting. And last but not the least, let's know about another important term of colored crime is black collar crime. It is worthy to mention it here that it is not officially confirmed in criminology studies. Let me clarify it again that the definition and the concept of black collar crime is not officially confirmed in criminology studies, but according to different perception and criminologists, it has been mentioned as that black collar crime has been used to refer to priests who commit crimes. So it means that crimes committed by religious leaders are its members of the clergy. It is usually covered up by members of the religion in order to protect the faith by not exposing the hypocrisy of judgmental bigots. For example, when a religious leader provoked its followers on the basis of hate against the other caste followers, so it would be considered as a black collar crime. But it is very important to mention it here that such concept hasn't been confirmed yet in the criminology studies. So I hope that your idea regarding these concepts and different types of crimes broadly may have cleared now. And if you are having still any confusion or ambiguity regarding any terms and any concepts, so you can ask me questions in the below comment section as well. And if you people didn't subscribe my channel, so do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon as well in order to get notification for the upcoming important lectures. And as I have already uploaded a lecture on different topics which is related directly and indirectly with the field of criminology, forensic sciences, law especially, so you can have a look at it in my channel if you need any, so you can watch it from my channel. So for more important lectures, stay focused with me and stay blessed. Thank you very much.